Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Minecraft One Tool Challenge. If you didn't watch the first part, first of all the info card is up above. Not exactly up above on my Minecraft character, but you get what I mean. It should be up above, unless I'm dumb and forgot about it. But that video came out on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. This might... Is this the first video of... No, it's not. It's not the first video of January. February. Not January. But since the last time I saw you, I have acquired Iron Armor. Because I didn't want to let you, like... I didn't want to spend my time letting you watch me smelt iron. Because that's boring. So I smelted a bunch of iron that I had. And then I got ten pieces of obsidian, so we're ready to go to the nether. I'm not, <laughs> like, mentally prepared to go to the nether, but... We're ready to go to the nether nonetheless. I don't necessarily want to go to the nether, but we're going. Oh, and I made a diamond pick, because, you know, I had to mine the obsidian. With the three diamonds that we had. Not exactly optimal, because I would have liked a sword, but I think an iron sword should do just fine. The dragon's kind of a chump, as long as you're not stupid. Like, as long as I don't get caught up in his fire, well, not his fire, his dragon breath, then the fight is pretty simple. Although getting, like, not getting caught in the dragon's breath is easier said than done. Because it's an area of effect, which it's a giant area of effect. So first of all, is that a village over there? No, I think that's just a tree. Yeah, no, I'm not going to waste my time going over there if it's just a tree. And then I need another block. These two pieces of dirt will do just nicely. And I'm gonna look out for that drowned. Don't have a trident, please. Oh, that one has a trident. Don't get too close, don't get too close, don't get too close. I'm going in anyway. And actually, no, I'm not. Let's clear my inventory a bit. Leave space for blocks, leave space for torches. Put that there, put that there, put that there. I'm about as ready as I'm ever gonna be. <laughs> Come on, don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't have a bad spawn. Don't have a bad spawn. This is a good spawn! Pog! Oh, and it's right next to the warped, really? Okay. Uh, I don't like that already. Alright, I'm gonna write these coordinates down on my little piece of paper here. 231, 58, 3... Okay, this shouldn't be that bad. Ooh, but you know what I don't have that I should have when I'm here? I don't have any golden armor. Because <laughs> piglins are a pain in the ass. And I'd rather not deal with them if I don't have to. So I'm going to carefully make my way through here. Carefully is the, like, keyword. And mine whatever bits of gold I can get. My stone pickaxe is kind of on its last legs here. As you can see. No. No, no, no. I'm not going out yet. Although that's not a horrible, like, way to leave. I don't necessarily want to leave right there. I want to look around and see if there's any other angles I can take. That would lead me closer to, like, a fortress. Cross my fingers. Because that's obviously what I need right now. I need a fortress. Oh god, I'm on hard. Oh god. I think with the last legs of my pickaxe, I'm gonna mine some netherrack. Yep. The very last legs. Because blocks are very necessary to me right now. For building purposes, obviously. Well, not for, like, bridging purposes, not for actual building. Okay, let's get this. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you would know that I had a Minecraft Hardcore series until I died in this dimension. <laughs> I lost to a bunch of magma cubes because they hit like a train when you're on, um, hard. I'm hopefully not going to run into those, at least as much this time. 
I'm going to purposely try to stay away from the basalt biomes, which are right in front of me. Granted, like, running into one is far different from, like, crossing one. I'm going to try not to cross one. I don't mind running into one, necessarily, but I don't want to come across one that I don't have to... Is that a fortress right in front of my face? No, it's not. It's most certainly not. There's weird pillars over there, though. Or my Xbox is just saying, screw you. My Xbox could just be saying, screw you. Okay, I'm here. The only thing I have to fear right in this general area is Endermen. And Endermen aren't necessarily a threat. I kind of want some Endermen. Purely for pearls. So I'm going to look at a couple of these bitches real quick. You ready to see some like hardcore defensive strategies? I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope it's going to work. Okay, I need... Oh, that's not going to work. Actually, yeah, it will. I can funnel them in. I'm going to make a boat. And funnel them bitches in right here. So when they teleport here, they won't be able to escape. I can only make one shovel, though. So, you know, obviously that complicates. I was about to say, where's my boat? Hey. I'm, I'm looking at you. Hey. Oh. Oh, this works. Oh, you can still teleport away, though. I thought they got stuck. Okay, that kind of works. Oh, no. Hey. 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 Hey, hey. Mr. Minderman, come here. I was like, is he unfazed by my boat? Are you kidding me? Ugh. It's 50-50 chance, guys. Come on. Oh, I don't want to stray too far away. I'm just going to take my boat. Oh, there goes my axe. We upgrade to a stone axe. I can't make one of those anymore. Cross it off. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep my boat. Because I would like to have that in case more Endermen pop up. Because honestly, I think that's convenient. I don't know if it necessarily is the best strategy, but they can't touch me. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't complain. Taking as little damage as you can from an Enderman is obviously optimal. Let's try to walk around this area. I don't want to go in there. I'm on hard mode. They'll do exactly the same amount of horrendous damage. Ah, uh, good PTSD. Alright, I gotta be careful here. I need to be careful. <laughs> And if I, like, fall into the lava, it's over. The challenge is over. Like, I can't make any more iron tools. The only thing I could hope for is to find a desert temple if I die. And then, like, skip a step and go to diamond. But the actual chances of that happening are not high. I don't know the actual percentage of them having, like, diamonds in them. But I would imagine it's not the, like, highest percentage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't. Don't hit me with a fireball. Don't hit me with a fireball. Don't hit me with a fireball. I know he's there. I know he probably can't see me yet. Keyword is yet, though. I'm, ho I'm trying to leave a path of torches, too, that I can follow back in case I end up getting lost. Although in a place like this, things are easy to lose. This place is not a pleasant place. As many of you may know. If you've not played Minecraft by now, I mean, you're probably never going to. Because this game's at least 10 years old now. 
I think. That's why it doesn't go in my newish games playlist. It goes in my Minecraft playlist. Because, to be fair, it's kind of content on its own. Like, it's its own separate kind of thing. But at the same time, it also isn't new. <laughs> like, it's mildly new, I guess. Although, I think I also put Borderlands in that playlist, so that's also not new, even a little bit. Borderlands is older than this, so I probably should get that out. I just was trying to create, like, a differential because I have RGT, Retro Gaming Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then normal content, like, normal video games. And I was trying to divide them, but at the same time, I mean, Borderlands is not a new game. <laughs> Borderlands is about as old as Minecraft. No, no, I take that back again. It's older. I think it was 2007... <laughs> Don't quote me on that, because I really don't know. I I was alive at the time, obviously, but I don't know exactly when it was released because I was a child. <laughs> Shout out to the Liliths out there. Best character. Oh god, the gas noises are getting... They're scaring me. Not today, Mr. Skeleton. Not today. Preferably not tomorrow either. Because I don't want to deal with you as long as I don't have to. Come on, please. I'd be happy just finding the Nether Fortress. Like, in this episode. Because I'm still trying not to make it, like, too long. This is a challenge. It's not a playthrough. Like, I mean, I guess in a sense it's a playthrough. But in a bigger sense, it's, it's a challenge. Because I'm playing Minecraft, but with a spin. <laughs> or a twist. <laughs> Whichever one you want to call it. It's both. <laughs> Alright, that's my first stag of Netherrack. <laughs> Not even remotely a big deal. Don't mind me, Enderman. I'm not trying to bother you. Hello. You didn't see me, right? No, you didn't. Okay. Good, good. Again, I want to deal with absolutely as little resistance as I possibly can. It's going to be problematic when I run out of torches, though. I didn't come in here with more. <laughs> Hello, piggy. Not here to fight you. Are you Piglin? No, you're not. Because Piglin I wouldn't mind talking with because I can trade with him. Oh, my iron picks are going to break soon. Granted, I have the creme de la creme of pickaxes now. Got the diamond pickaxe. So I don't necessarily need to make any other pickaxes. Hopefully. I sure hope I don't have to make more pickaxes, because I'm going to be in trouble if I need to make more pickaxes. Because the only options at this point would be netherite and gold. Come on, what do you got? No. 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 Come on. Come a little bit closer, bitch. You are all up in my space. Yeah. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm a Minecraft pro. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me at all on that. That is off the record. Absolutely off the record. Alright, let's get this. I'm trying to get as much gold as I possibly can. Because again, I want to trade with the piglins. But again, I know it's in the long run not going to help all that much. 
but I mean, just in case, if I end up getting super lucky and just hit the jackpot and just get a bunch of ender pearls, that'd be great. Would make my life a whole lot easier. Let's hop over here. Mine this gold that I missed. Hopefully don't get blown up by a ghast. Fingers crossed. Reorder my inventory because my trusty iron pickaxe just broke. But now I have the ultimate pickaxe. As I said, the creme de la creme pickaxe. No. Denied. God, the amount of guests is frightening. Okay, okay, I, I know. I Jesus, no. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, just kidding. My bad. I won't go that way. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, God game. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily worried about death at that very instance, but I didn't want to get just sit there and get pwned by a bunch of skeletons. That's just not optimal. Oh, I'm gonna have to cross the basalt biome, aren't I? I really don't want to do that. I really just don't. Oh, come on. Please, game. Please. Where is my torch actually leading? <laughs> my torch path already makes no sense. That's great. Oh, well, I've always I've obviously been here. Because this is, like, clearly cut out. And then that's where I... Oh, I don't want to cross it. I don't know. It's risky. If I get up there and there's, like, 50 magma cubes, I'm not doing it. There's not. Okay. I'm crossing it. Hopefully as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Wasn't very optimal. Really didn't lead me to anything. Oh, come on. There's got to be something over here. The nether's full of holes. There's got to be something somewhere. I don't want to use too much of this pickaxe, though. I just do not want to use too much of this pickaxe. Because this is it. This is the final pickaxe. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. If I, if I die in here, I literally don't have a pickaxe. I have gold pickaxe? Because I made the diamond pickaxe. But the idea of getting a golden pickaxe... It's not optimal either. Just who wants a golden pickaxe? It's gonna break in five seconds. Oh, I'm not dealing with you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm being chased by ghasts. Bullying. I'm being bullied. No. Not today. Hopefully not tomorrow. Oh my god, and there's nothing over here. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna have to go, like, escapey. Gonna have to go take the long route. <laughs> take the sneaky path. Not sneaky enough. Who's shooting at me? Oh god, there's two of them. How did I get over here? I just climbed up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna eat one of these and regen some of my saturation. 
Ah, oh, there's nothing nearby me. I'm glad I'm not speed running. This is the worst seed. Ah, oh, come on! I just need the Nether Fortress. I would like a Bastion. I would not mind a Bastion at all. But I mean, if you don't get one of those, you don't get one of those. I'm not complaining. But I would really appreciate the thing that's necessary for me to progress in the game. Okay, there's my torches. Where's my torch actually leading? Did I seriously climb this precarious ass bridge? Oh god, yeah I did. This is it. I remember this bridge. Okay, I'm on my way back. I don't know where else I'm gonna go. Cause I ain't seeing a single freaking like structure nearby. No nether fortress, no bastion. Just a horrible biome that I don't wanna cross. Oh, there's already magma cubes here, I can hear them. Where are they? I don't want to get in a fight with them if I don't have to. Because there's just so many. And they're swarming you from all sides. And if you're familiar with Minecraft, you know that the slimes in this game are the standard version. And magma cubes are the, like, rare variant, I guess, in a way. Although at the same time, they're not, just because of this biome. But they're not native to the overworld. But normal slimes, when you turn them to small little guys, when you, like, kill them, they turn into smaller versions of themselves. The tiny ones don't deal damage to you. Magma cubes do, though. No matter what size they are. So, no matter what, you're just boned. <laughs> where? 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 Oh. Hi. You're not in a very good place, sir. I'm sorry about that. I honestly feel bad for you. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. No, no, no. Okay, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's definitely stuck. If I keep telling myself it'll be true, myself that it'll be true. He is definitely stuck. Ugh, I need to get over there. How much blocks do I have? 32. I should be able to bridge that gap. Just take it nice and slow. By my standards, at least. This isn't slow by any means, but please don't be welcomed with a bunch of magma cream. Okay. Not bad. Ooh, there's piglins. That's a good sign. We're in a different area now. Piss off. Please don't. I would rather not die right now. I really would not like to die. At this moment in time. Nor later, honestly. Alright, I've got bread still. Ooh, if I, if I run out of food in here, it's gonna be bad. Because the only food source here is pork chop. And I've already gotten all of those that I can get. Is there any other food source? Oh, there's rotten flesh, but you can only have ten of those, too. Just no matter what, I'm in trouble. Oh, there's got to be a nether fortress somewhere, guys. Come on. It's probably been, like, right around the corner of where I've been exploring this entire time. I'm also 94 up in the air. It's not the most optimal place to find a fortress. But I would really appreciate it if they would just give me one. Oh. It's been like 24 minutes of aimless wandering and panicking. <laughs> I need more of this. Whether I want to use my pickaxe on it or not, I need this. I have to have blocks in this dimension.
I, I have to use it sparingly, obviously, but I have to have blocks in this dimension. The only bio well, dimension I don't necessarily need blocks in is the end, I want to say. Because I do need them in the overworld just because there's a lot of parallel. Well, vertical, I guess, up and down. I don't know if that's vertical. But here, take those, guys. Please give me some pearls. I didn't want a flame charge. That's not even gravel. That's even less useful. You guys astound me. Are there two of you? No, it's just the one. Where'd the other guy go? There was two. Whatever. Blackstone. I I honestly will take that kind of block because I can use that for bridging. <laughs> Just give me some pearls, please. No. I don't think they can give me blaze powder either, so I'm going to be stuck in here no matter what. <gasps> yes! Give me more of those! Give me more of these! You understand, Mr. Pink? Just, just more. More of those, and I will give you more gold. I have more. I don't necessarily have all the gold you could want, but I got more. Okay, that's cool. Kind of. I can't put those on in front of you, but those are cool. That's not as cool. Give you more of this, just so you'll stay longer. That's not cool. Don't give me more of those. Come on, please. A water bottle. Not cool. I don't need the bone. I don't need the feathers. Oh, I kind of wish I kept the feathers. Nah, they're not necessary. Come on, dude. You're out of gold, aren't you? I'm running out, man. You saved me a little bit of time, but not a lot. I need at least, like, 13 pearls. If not more. String. Dude, come on. Come on, man. It, that doesn't help either. I guess I can bridge with that if necessary. Please! That... Ugh, oh, you suck! God, the odds are not good for those. I'll take a bow. Thanks for the string, I guess. That, that's cool. Memento, where I've been. And Blackstone. Okay. That was not a good pigment, piglin trade. And I'm out of gold. Okay. Not optimal, but it's not going to put me down. I can still farm for Endermen. I'll probably do it off camera though because I don't want to bore you to death. And I'm also going to end here in a minute anyway because I'm also going to end the episode to try to find the Nether Fortress. I'm going to look for it off camera just because it's really boring to watch me just aimlessly wander through this biome of nothingness. Like I, I understand because it's boring for me while also not being boring just because I'm panicking every move I freaking make. But for you guys, that's not as entertaining. You, you may get a little joy watching me panic and scramble, but otherwise, it's not as entertaining. So the next episode, I will be in the Nether Fortress. I will hopefully have the Ender Pearls that I need. If not, I will manage to get them somehow. And then I'm going to manage to get my ass out of here. I'm going to do the Nether Fortress on camera. Then I'm going to hope and pray that I can get out of here safely. Ow. How did that explode? Really? 
Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I have no arrows. I have no arrows. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> well, just kidding, guys. That's the end of the one block challenge. <laughs> I failed. There's nothing I can do now. There's no way I can get back there. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me try this again, tell me in the comment section below. Because I thought this was fun, other than the constant scrambling of trying to get things. But I appreciate you watching. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And tell me down below if you want to see this again. See me do it the right way. Next time I'm going to do it on normal though, because that's just ridiculous. I was on fire for entirely too long. Until I started scrambling, that's when I understood that I died. But otherwise it was stupid. Make sure to hit that like button. And that comment button for feedback. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.